Imagine waking up to the end of the universe. How might it happen? What could we expect? As mind-boggling as it sounds, scientists have been pondering these questions for decades. They've come up with some fascinating and at times spine-chilling theories about how the universe might meet its ultimate demise. From a cosmic freeze to a universe tearing rip, from the possibility of a universe rebooting crunch to the exotic idea of vacuum decay, there's no shortage of imaginative and somewhat terrifying scenarios. But don't stop at these. There are even more exotic theories out there. Ever heard of a big bounce where the universe collapses and then expands again? Or what about the concept of the universe slowly disintegrating into a heat death? The universe's end is a topic that's as vast and mysterious as the cosmos itself. So buckle up, hold on tight, and prepare for a journey full of cosmic wonder and existential dread. Dive in, if you dare, to the top 10 theories about the end of the universe. Number 10. The Big Freeze. A chilling end indeed. At the heart of this scenario is the second law of thermodynamics, a fundamental principle of physics that states entropy or disorder in an isolated system always increases over time. Applying this to our universe, as it expands, the energy it contains is gradually spreading out, leading to a gradual decrease in the overall temperature. As the universe gets bigger and colder, stars will burn out, galaxies will fade, and all matter will eventually decay into subatomic particles. The universe will become a vast, dark, and unimaginably cold void. Without heat and energy, life as we know it would be impossible. This is the Big Freeze, a future where the universe, once ablaze with the light of countless stars, cools and dims until it is left barren and lifeless. A universe turned ice cold, barren, and lifeless. Number 9. The Big Rip, a universe torn apart. Now, isn't that an image to hold on to? The Big Rip Theory is a dramatic and somewhat terrifying explanation of how our universe might meet its end. In essence, this theory revolves around the concept of dark energy. This mysterious form of energy is believed to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of our universe. But what happens if this expansion doesn't slow down, but instead keeps speeding up? Well, that's where the Big Rip comes into play. The idea is that the repulsive forces of dark energy could become so powerful, they start to overcome all other forces in the universe. Gravity, electromagnetism, even the strong force that holds atomic nuclei together could all be ripped apart. This would mean not just galaxies and stars being torn asunder, but planets, buildings, atoms, even the fabric of space-time itself could be shredded by this relentless expansion. An end as dramatic as tearing the fabric of reality itself. Number 8. The Big Crunch. A Cosmic Collapse. Imagine, if you will, a universe where gravity's pull is the ultimate victor. This is the premise of the Big Crunch theory. According to this conception, the expansion of the universe that's been happening since the Big Bang could reverse. Yes, you heard right, reverse. You see, this theory is built on the notion that there's enough matter in the universe to generate the gravitational pull necessary to halt the universe's expansion. And what happens when an expanding universe stops expanding? It begins to contract. This contraction or crunch would cause everything that exists, galaxies, stars, planets, all matter, to collapse into a singularity. Imagine all of space and time, every galaxy, every star, every atom collapsing into a single infinitely dense point. A point where our current understanding of physics may not apply. A universe collapsing in on itself, a sight to behold. Number 7. Vacuum Decay. A Sudden, Catastrophic End. Just as the name suggests, this theory is all about a vacuum, but not the kind you use to clean your house. We're talking about the vacuum of space. According to quantum physics, what we perceive as empty space isn't truly empty. It's filled with quantum fields that give particles their properties. Now, imagine if one of these fields, specifically the Higgs field, which gives particles their mass, was not in its lowest energy state. This is the concept of a false vacuum. If a tiny bubble of true vacuum were to appear somewhere in the universe, it could trigger a chain reaction converting the false vacuum to a true vacuum. 
This process, known as vacuum decay, would travel at the speed of light, eradicating everything in its path. No warning, no escape. The result? A universe wiped out in the blink of an eye. Number 6. The Big Bounce. A universe reborn. Imagine a cosmic yo-yo. The universe expands, then contracts, then expands again, in a never-ending cycle. This is the essence of the Big Bounce Theory. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? The Big Bounce Theory suggests that our universe is just one phase in an infinite series of cosmic life cycles. The Big Bang, which we've always thought of as the birth of our universe, could merely be the latest bounce in this eternal sequence. But what triggers the bounce? It might be the force of gravity. As the universe contracts, gravity could become so powerful that it sparks another Big Bang, causing the universe to expand once again. However, what could be the potential outcomes? Well, if the Big Bounce theory holds true, the future could be a mirror of the past. The universe may undergo cycles of expansion and contraction, death and rebirth, for all eternity. A universe ending only to begin anew. Number 5. The Heat Death. A slow, agonizing fade. Now imagine the universe not with a bang but a whimper. That's the essence of the heat death theory. It's all about entropy, a measure of disorder or randomness within a system. As things naturally progress, they tend towards more entropy, more disorder. Now, apply this concept to the universe. The heat death theory suggests that, as time goes on, the universe will reach a state of maximum entropy. Energy will be evenly distributed with no room for any work or change to occur. Stars will burn out, galaxies will drift apart, and all will grow cold and dark. It's a bleak picture, but remember, this is all theoretical. This is not an explosion or a collapse, but a slow, relentless decline. A universe becoming increasingly less structured, less ordered, until it's a uniform soup of low-energy particles. A universe slowly fading away into nothingness. Number 4. The Big Slurp a universe swallowed whole. Imagine this, our universe, like a speck of dust floating in a higher dimensional space, subjected to forces beyond our comprehension. This is the premise of the Big Slurp theory. According to this theory, our universe is a bubble, a three-dimensional brain, if you will, floating in a higher dimensional space, or bulk. Now, what if another bubble, a higher dimensional one, collides with ours? Well, that's where the Big Slurp comes in. In this cataclysmic event, our universe could be swallowed whole, instantly and without warning. Every star, every planet, every speck of matter we know would be slurped up into this higher dimensional entity. The Big Slurp takes the concept of the end of the universe to a whole new level. It's not just about the death of stars or the cooling of the cosmos, but a total, all-encompassing obliteration. A universe devoured by something beyond our comprehension. Number 3. The cyclic model, a universe in an endless cycle. Imagine for a moment, a universe that doesn't have a beginning or an end. This is the premise of the cyclic model. In this theory, the universe is akin to a phoenix constantly dying in a big crunch and being reborn in a big bang over and over again. The cycle is eternal. This model is an exciting proposition because it challenges the conventional notion of a one-time, singular creation event. It brings together elements of both the Big Bang and Big Crunch theories, suggesting a universe that's not linear, but cyclical. And what does it imply? Well, if the cyclic model holds true, then the universe we're living in right now could have had an infinite number of predecessors and may continue to birth an infinite number of successors. In essence, the cyclic model presents us with a universe trapped in an endless cycle of birth and death. Number 2. The Multiverse Theory A universe among infinite universes Imagine, if you will, that our universe isn't the only game in town. Instead, it's just one among an infinite number of universes, each with its own laws and principles. This is the central idea of the Multiverse Theory a concept that has its roots in the mind-bending world of string theory. In this theory, universes are like bubbles in a cosmic ocean, constantly being created and destroyed. Some might be similar to ours, others might be wildly different. The potential outcomes are endless. Perhaps in another universe, 
gravity is weak or time moves backwards. Or maybe, just maybe, dinosaurs are still roaming the earth. So the next time you gaze at the night sky, remember this. Our universe, with its billions of galaxies, might just be a tiny speck in a much larger cosmic landscape. A universe, just one of countless others. Number one, the final theory, a universe that never ends. In our cosmic theater, the final act is a theory that eschews the concept of an ending. It's called the final theory or eternal inflation theory. And it's a fascinating notion that challenges our understanding of time and space. At its core, the final theory suggests that our universe is part of an infinitely stretching cosmic quilt. Each patch of this quilt represents a universe, including ours, born from a process called inflation. Now, this isn't about money or prices going up. In cosmology, inflation refers to the rapid expansion of space that occurred fractions of a second after the Big Bang. But here's the twist. In the final theory, inflation never really ends. It stops in patches, like our universe, allowing galaxies and stars to form. But elsewhere, it continues unabated, creating an infinite number of new universes. This is what we call eternal inflation. What does this mean for the fate of our universe? Well, it's a bit paradoxical. From our perspective, our universe will eventually succumb to one of the ends we've discussed earlier, be it the big rip, big crunch, or heat death. But from a broader perspective, the cosmic quilt itself never ends. It continues to inflate and create new universes, each with its own timeline and potential fate. The final theory is a testament to the grandeur of the cosmos and our quest to understand it. It throws us into a cosmic dance that never stops, a symphony that plays on and on. Each universe, each patch of the quilt, contributes its own notes to this eternal melody. The final theory is a humbling reminder that we are part of something much larger, something that transcends our universe and our understanding of time. It paints a picture of a cosmos that is perpetually in motion, always changing, always creating. A universe that persists, defying all odds. Our universe might end, but the cosmic show goes on, with or without us. That, my friends, is the beauty and mystery of the final theory. So, there you have it. The top 10 theories about the end of the universe. We've journeyed through cosmic possibilities, from the chilling big freeze, where the universe gradually cools until all life ceases, to the dramatic big rip, where dark energy becomes so dominant it tears apart all structures in the universe. We've delved into the big crunch, the reversal of the Big Bang, where the universe collapses back into a singularity, and the intriguing vacuum decay, where a quantum event could trigger a destructive bubble that obliterates the universe. We've pondered the Big Bounce, a cyclical theory where the universe continuously expands and contracts, and the heat death, where entropy reaches a maximum and all processes stop. Our journey took us to the Big Slurp, a scenario where our universe is simply a bubble in a larger universe and could be swallowed at any moment. We've explored the cyclic model, another oscillating universe theory, where the universe undergoes an infinite series of expansions and contractions. We've contemplated the multiverse theory, where our universe is just one among a vast, possibly infinite array of universes, each with different physical laws. And finally, we've touched on the final theory, an as yet undiscovered theory that could explain everything about the universe, including its end. Reflecting on these theories, we realize that our understanding of the universe is still evolving. The end of the universe is a concept so vast and complex that it challenges our comprehension. Yet it's this very challenge that fuels our curiosity and drives our scientific endeavors. It's a testament to the human spirit, our unquenchable thirst for knowledge, and our relentless pursuit of understanding the cosmos. The end of the universe may be a mystery, but one thing is certain. It's a mystery worth exploring. Before we wrap up this cosmic journey, we want to hear from you. Which of these theories intrigued you the most? Do you have your own theory about the end of the universe? Give us your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, 
or learned something new, give us a thumbs up. It's like a little cosmic particle of appreciation sent across the digital universe, and it helps us a lot. Want some more amazing, fascinating facts? Like this video, share your opinions in the comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more such content. And don't overlook that subscribe button. It's your ticket to join us on future voyages as we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Remember to share it with your friends, family, or anyone who shares your curiosity about the cosmos. As we've seen today, exploring the universe is a vast and fascinating journey, one that's best shared with others. Until next time, keep looking and keep exploring. The universe may be infinite and its mysteries may be vast, but together we can uncover it until our next cosmic journey. This is your guide signing off.